Yo, what is good, everybody? It's your boy, Angel, and I'm here with two special guests, one being the typical my boy, Mr. Troll, and one being a man named Dylan. How are What's you up? today? We doing good. I'm doing good. Yeah. Anyway. I don't know about that other loser. We're just bullying. Okay, <laughs> that's fine. So, I don't really know what we're going to talk about today. But I we're just, just going to go on with the gaming industry, I guess. What do you guys got to say about that? Well, I think that everybody's been fucking around with the same formula and afraid to go outside of a damn new platform. Like, look at this. Everything's become Battle Royale, PUBG, blah, 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 Battle Royale. I'm just like, Yeah, PUBG's a good game, though. Hell yeah. I never played it, but it looks fun. <laughs> That shit's just wearing itself out. It's just like everything is becoming inspired by that. There's no originality anymore. They just copy and paste everything. Well, the only other big one is Fortnite. The only reason people play that is because it's free. Fortnite. I never tried it before, but I seen one of my friends playing it. It looked it looked kind of goofy. <laughs> yeah, it does look goofy. I haven't even like attempted to try it. Loot boxes. Don't even get me started on loot boxes. Aren't those expensive yeah. as hell? It ain't even the fact that they're expensive. It's just the fact that they're in everything. Like, every game is loot boxes. EA, things. I can't. I wanted to buy four to seven. But there's fucking... How the fuck do you put <laughs> microtransactions in a racing game, my nigga? Yeah, it started true. out with Call of Duty. And then it, it, evolved, it evolved with Battlefront, Star Wars. Yeah, yeah it, that's it, pretty much where that, everybody like, drew the, the line. The first Star Wars, like, just ramp that shit up. EA and Activision. I mean, I was cool with cosmetics, but now that everything's being thrown into multiplayer, it's just like nobody wants to The only that. big game to do loot boxes right so far has been Overwatch. That's it. Because it's all just strictly cosmetic. I've been I've 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 been fine like when, when it first came to any type of DLC or microtransactions, I've been fine with Black Ops one, like where you had to buy uh, DLC map pack for 15 bucks. That was a steal. Like, it wasn't exactly exactly a steal, yeah. right? But it was worth the money. Like, you would have and yeah, like you would get good playing. You would get yeah, new I, guns. Would you get? You got new guns in the older Call of Duty, right? Uh, yeah, like yeah a Wolf, little bit. Like Modern Warfare Two and shit. No, like, the new like, guns started in Black Ops decent. Two. Like that was fine when they relate that it came with the map. You maybe got like one or two guns, and it wasn't nothing overpowered. And all it did was change the map. That was good. Deal. So that'd be cool to pay fifteen. Because it don't what change about, the game. That, what what, what about, about what? <laughs> what about like the content of the games are that are getting pushed out nowadays? Like, like what's oh, your you opinion on that? Absolute like, shit. Yes, that what? I have the exact same opinion. Like the content of the games. It's like, it reminds me of a story when my homeboy Spencer went to a McDonald's one day. And this nigga ordered a cheeseburger, right? Uh-huh. He get, he'd take the shit and he leave, bro. The motherfucker opened the bag and they gave him a patty. No, they gave him a top bun, ketchup, a piece of cheese. No, he asked for no pickles, no nothing. They gave him <laughs> a piece of bread, a piece of cheese, ketchup, and a bottom bun. Damn, bro, he could have made that himself. Like, he didn't even have no patty in the shit, bro. That describes how they fucking give you games now. See, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> yeah, like that, that makes Like, that Destiny sense. 2 DLC, that shit was pathetic. I, I never even played shit. Destiny. <laughs> I could shit out a better DLC. With 15 minutes of, like, modding. Oh, like, like Fallout. Like, the concept of Destiny game. is so fucking good, but they just completely, like, the execution was so poor. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Like, it was... Like, the first game, it had its problems, but the second one, they, like, did all this shit on purpose. Like, they took out what made the first game good, and then they just, like... I don't know, it's basically like video game communism where everybody has to be the same. Like, there's no grinding. It's just... I don't know, it's just stupid. To be honest, like, I haven't really been in, into gaming... <laughs> as much as I used to be since like all the games suck balls nowadays like you got you got GTA 5 okay that was pretty cool for the first day but now it's it's just whack and they're still pushing out DLCs for it like they came out with the 
heist DLC a couple so like days ago. Oh, I, think. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't know if that was yeah. Years. And plus, like, I don't know. Just the the only really good games I like to play is I don't Our know, just game ga- games that they're they're made good. Like to be honest, Grand Theft Auto Four. You know, that game never really gets old. And Forza, because you can do anything in Forza. You just drive around. That's it. But you could do that all day, every day. I want oh, yeah. a good old Need for Speed, like <laughs> Need for Speed car. I was looking for the fucking the new Need for Speed payback. And I think it like just got launched or something. And I'm thinking about getting it. Something in my chest tells me it's gonna be a massive disappointment. And it's I was like, never I was never a big uh, fan of Need for Speed. I, I like the old ones, but but like the newer ones that come out pure garbage. In my opinion. Old. The single player old. games have been pretty good. And mm. I haven't really heard of any single player games. I me thought Fallout Four was fucking great. <laughs> You said what? So I thought Fallout 4 was fucking great. Fallout 4 came out last year, you married. Well, yeah, but I mean, I still play it. A bunch of people still play it. I was never a big fan of Fallout 4 because there's a lot of big spiders and no, big no. things, and, and it's scary no for me, dude. Guy. What, you no, got arachnophobia? Rac- it, it's, yeah, it's, it's like Skyrim. You got these, you know, six-foot spiders and bats. It's like, geez, I don't even know what, what there is in there. It's just so scary. This nigga really spooked with that shit. Like, dead ass will not play those games. But he ain't playing. Like, he just won't. I mean, I don't like spiders either, but, like, damn, I'm not, like, terrified of them. Nah, shit, yeah, I am. <laughs> he don't fuck with them things. He just don't. But, uh, damn. there ain't no spiders in Fallout. There's never been spiders in Fallout. Nah, there's no the spiders. Well, whatever there is. Spiders. What? They're just what? big old flies and scorpions and mosquitoes. Like, yes, that's that's stuff that's, scares me out too. Nigga, fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> They're just bugs. Damn, bro, you embarrassing. Me. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> what uh? I don't even know what games are coming out in twenty eighteen. Like, uh, and, and what I want to say is one more thing. Where was the lack of AAA titles? Name like, I mean, three AAA titles. E3, E3 announced like nothing. Um, no, nah, yeah, E3 announced pure garbage. Year. It came out this year. Not any other year, but this year. Um, the only right. thing I can think of it, right off the bat the, is Call of Duty World War II. No, that is not a AAA title. That's not what we consider a AAA title anymore. Sir. What y'all think about that? The the new Xbox Scorpio, the Xbox One I- X. X? Yeah. Xbox yeah. One X. I don't I never got it, but from what I heard it was well worth the money. Yeah, like way better than the PS4 Pro. Yeah, that thing blows the PS4 out of PS uh PS4 Pro out of water. I don't even know the difference. <laughs> There's a big I'm, difference. Just know that native it blows 4K. It out. 4K, huh? huh? Yeah, like, Is that the it. big Not hype no now? 4K? Pretty much. It's not even upscaled. I'm going to give you my opinion on 4K. And it's going to break a lot of hearts. And I'm sorry, but honestly, like for me, 4K is not really in there. I mean, it is. 4K is a pretty big thing. Like you got pretty much all the, the YouTube videos by the big YouTubers, you know, 4K video. But then you got millions of people watching them who like don't have any type of monitor or TV that supports 4K. And that that's the thing today. Like people won't. They'll go out to the store, or they'll they'll be hyped about the new consoles being like, yeah, 4K, bro, 4K. But then, you know, they got a 1080p display, and it's like that doesn't really make sense. That's yeah, why they go out and upgrade. That's literally it, the point. It does other things too, though. Like if you don't have a 4K TV, like the frame rate will be higher on some games. The textures will be better. Like it affects other stuff. So it's got upscaling right. as well. Yeah. As long as it has that, then that's all, that's all that matters. Since yeah, many people, many many like people that. out there, they'll they'll watch a YouTube video, and be like, "Yes, I'm watching this at 4K. My internet's really struggling to keep up. I'm watching 4K. Yes." And they'll think that they can see the difference on their little phone that quote unquote supports 4K when it's 
A four a little four inch screen. It's gonna be hard as shit to see four K. To be honest, I'm just being real there. No, I don't think there's any phone that supports four K right now, is there? You say any what? I said, is there any phone that supports four K right now? Apparently, bunch of. Oh, it's gonna be hard as hell to see it though. Because <laughs> no, imagine, not. like, no, yes, it is. Not. Yes, no, it is. If you've ever seen a phone with native 4K and watched a 4K video, you can tell the difference. Don't even try that. No. There I mean, is I'll... a major difference, and I've seen it with my own ass. You put my 1080p phone next to a 4K phone, that thing will shit all over. I don't even care, and I love my iPhone. And that's saying something because this dude's There's fucking a blind. Major difference. <laughs> yeah, I never really. Yeah. I never really. I will. Do, I will fight that. I never really mess with Samsung, so I can't really say nothing about that. It's just, this is just my my I two thoughts about it. Because I mean, I mean, it, it's it's pretty. I mean, it, I would imagine it's this goes for everything else, like you know, a 4K camera on this tiny little, not even a one inch sensor. Like e- even the GoPro, like GoPros, they got 4K as an option, but you you do a side by side comparison, 1080p versus 4K. The difference is going to be super slim. Same with, you know, smartphones. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry, Kayla. I'm sorry, my boy, Mr. Troll. But it's just it's just the truth. I mean, of course, 4K, it's going to look maybe a little bit better. But honestly, if you're not talking about the super high-end, you know, $50,000 cameras or more, then the difference is going to be, like, super slim. Like, I, w- I won't lie. 4K, it's nice and all. It's up there, but I don't see myself using it uh, anytime soon. Maybe in a couple more years, but I it's not really. Like it's not. It's, 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 it's not really a big thing to me right now. I'd say I by can, next year it'll be like a lot more affordable. It already is affordable. Like 4K TVs are like four hundred dollars now. Yeah, a lot. Uh, of, a lot. Of, I'm, I'm. I'm really surprised that a lot of TVs now they're pretty like low in the price for yeah, having 4K. It's crazy. Y'all. 4K is like affordable. 4K used to be like seven hundred dollars a TV. Now it's like three hundred, four hundred. Like you can't complain about that. Yeah, 4K. Like I don't know. I don't think they can go any more further past 4K. I think that's pretty much all the human eye can like. They're working on 5K and 8K is already. Uh, 8K exists. I think 8K will be more of a gimmick thing, though. The only thing I don't like about 4K, like <laughs> it's pretty, it's pretty real, but. Like everything gets a little smaller because the resolution is much bigger. So like, since for me, since I got pretty bad eyesight, you're talking about like texture, like text, text the outside. Basically. Yeah. Right. So like, if I were to ever have a 4K monitor, I would really have to. That's like, why, get closer. <laughs> if you get a native 4K monitor, it stretches that shit like the, uh, just for size. That's what I said. Oh yeah, I forgot. I forgot really, I could go. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Because because. Yeah, you're right. I like, completely don't forgot you about that. Cheap 4K TV. Yeah, like if I were to ever get a 4K monitor, it would probably be like a 27 inch or something. Like mine, my my like I won't lie, my I don't remember if I told y'all, but my monitor costs 550 dollars. Yeah. Damn, man, I can't do that. And he was gonna sell it to me for like 90. What? Damn, you should have bought it. I was going I got my, to. I got my, I got my, dropped, I got my monitor. Bro. I got my monitor for like 150, and this was like in 2013. I was going to sell it to that nigga for like what, two hundred dollars or something? Yeah, and I was like, all right, I'll hit you up in like a week or two when I get the money, and then some point during that time, he fucking dropped it. Oh, you dropped it? Yeah, I told you. What? I always thought you like um sold it to some other dude that you sold your rig to. No, I sold the rig and I dropped the monitor. I didn't sell the rig and the monitor yet. I had the monitor for like a long ass time after I got rid. Tell the audience how much your gaming PC costs. Forty two hundred dollars in total. <sighs> I can't believe you sold it. For a grand. Jesus Christ. You're crazy, dude. <laughs> You're crazy. Hell, I'd care. never do that. I was like, fuck it. That's insane. I had just put two GTX nine eighties in that bitch. Two months later the GTX ten eighties came out and we're like I would have spent like fifty less dollars. Like nah, in a total like hundred and fifty less dollars. To get 16 gigabytes of video RAM, I wanted to kill myself. Yeah, I got a 1060 <laughs> in mine right now, and it's fucking great. I got a 750 I Ti, and it's pretty I mean, good you're too. You're telling me 
So my cars literally became obsolete, and then my computer was having <laughs> issues. It had like it had like software issues, and I would constantly fix them. But at one some point, I just said, "Fuck it, I don't have the time to maintain a PC." Because at that time, I was working and shit, and like I would constantly have like fried RAM from fucking around with shit. I had no business messing with trying shit. So, my PC, my PC, it's gonna. I don't want. I don't want to jinx it and say it's gonna die out soon, but it's. I think it's about to be like six years old, so I'm gonna build like a new one, and it's gonna be kind of expensive. So I'm just investing right now. No, nice. so just go out. Like, just go <laughs> And I'm yeah, it's it's gonna be pretty pretty beast and hefty, but I'm gonna build it. My plan, since Windows Seven is gonna expire, uh, I think January of twenty nineteen, twenty nineteen or twenty twenty, and so and so since I I missed the opportunity to upgrade to Windows Ten because I didn't want Windows Ten. Uh, my computer is gonna be pretty much garbage since you know no updates for Windows Seven. So I gotta upgrade my game, and plus I'm just gonna start nice and fresh. So in the year, hopefully 2019 or a couple months before Windows 7 expires, bam, build it. I'm back again. Yeah, Windows 10 is pretty good. It's a lot better than 8. Oh yeah, definitely. Windows 8 was hot. They've made it so complicated. Like Windows 8.1 was so easily moddable, it was funny. I was never a big like, fan of the whole Windows. Modded, like that shit for fun. I like Windows Seven; it's the best. I like Windows Eight Point One only for the fact that how much you can mod that shit and change a lot of shit. But it was garbage. Other than that, that was the only thing that was good about it. Windows Ten is basically Seven with like a couple extra features. But uh, yeah, I think the main problem with the game industry right now is like. Mainly the AAA games because the indie games are actually doing pretty good, why and most of them have positive reviews. That, I'm all for that, but why? Like, that's just... <laughs> what do you mean? Like it's just shocking that AAA gaming industry has gone down so much that indie games are now starting to come out better than your back in the day, like AAA platform. Like, you never Assassin's Creed. Ooh, yeah, Assassin's Creed, <laughs> like Brotherhood. Those were our AAA titles. Tomb Raider, uh, The Last of Us, new IPs. There's nothing original anymore. When's the last time a decent IP came out from a studio? Other than like, like a, Overwatch, like a decent new IP. Um, I don't know. It's been a while. Most of like most of the games now are just like sequels or prequels. Bioshock, or their franchises. But yeah, um, I mean, any games are doing like really fucking good. Like that game, Hello Neighbor, that's pretty cool. Uh, that other weird game, Doki Doki Literature Club, that shit's fucking scary. I don't really know if any oh, games out there really. Like I, I, I've been, I've been off the radar for a while, and just sticking to my Forza in GTA Four because that's the only thing that keeps me like entertained. Because all these other games, you gotta pay a bunch for. The microtransactions and I don't know, you just don't get the full experience of when you first get a game like how you did back in the day. Like back in the day, you buy a game for sixty bucks. All right, sweet. You can play the hell out of it for a long time. And now it's just okay. Uh, sixty I can't bucks. I believe that I'm doing a heroic event all by myself. Well, I mean, like the game industry will probably come back around since like countries are starting to crack down on the whole loot box shit. True. Which EA's response to that was like, well, if we don't have loot boxes, I guess we're just going to charge it more, which is like petty and retarded as fuck because for the longest time now, $60 games have been the standard and that's been fine. Yeah. And what, what do you guys think about uh, Call of Duty World War Two Campaign beautiful game. <laughs> yeah, Call of Duty it, went downhill. But from what I've seen, Call like... Like, the whole multiplayer just revolves around, like, the fucking uh, supply drop shit. Like, they wow. have this new, like, social area, like, in Destiny, where if you open up supply drops in front of other people, your chances of getting, like, a rare item or whatever are, like, higher. So, basically, you just, like, entice people to buy microchannels. It's, like, the whole thing is fucking stupid. It's all rigged. 
Uh, pretty much. It's like games are now just turning into like casinos. I won't lie, but Call of Duty was like the best game ever, especially like I started off with what uh, World War Two on the Wii, and then I got Black Ops Dude, One World for the. War. Oh yeah, yeah, World at War, <laughs> World at War for the Wii, and then I started, or I, I'm well, yeah, I moved to Black Ops One on the PS3, and then I got Modern Warfare Two. I played the hell out of that game, both of those yeah, games. There was. A, <laughs> no, I never had a DS. I, was I think I had it for the DS. I remember uh, Matthew Crocker. He had a fucking Call of Duty, uh, Modern Warfare on his DS. I had, I had, uh, um, I knew somebody with Call of Duty Four on the Wii. That was you, buddy. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That was me. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah. That's what I started with. Yeah, Ew. Called, I had Black Ops on the DS at one point in time. I remember that. Damn. <laughs> or I knew somebody with it because I never played it. Ew. Either that or I hacked it onto a ROM, but I don't remember. Call of Duty and Nintendo just doesn't go well with each other. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Call of Duty's went super downhill though. That sucks. Like they 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 were they really yeah. were on their grind and then oh here's Call of Duty Ghosts and you know everything went downhill from there. Yeah, Ghost is pretty much where Call of Duty went to die. It sucks because I was I was a diehard fan. Oh I mean, yeah, I play the hell out of it. You know, whenever the squad was online, you would invite them, and you know, you guys would just go right at it. But now it's like, ah, uh, you can't even do that no more because it, it, it's so boring, you know. Yeah, because like, I don't know, like the pay to win guns are like actually decent, so you know it forces you to like grind for supply drops and i don't know it's just not about even having fun anymore oh yeah i was about to say this one dip fuck i made a video on he like went bankrupt because he spent like all his money on fucking supply drops damn <laughs> yeah and he got on youtube and started begging his subscribers for money oh that then that's another thing like these youtubers i don't know they're really greedy like a lot of them a lot of like i'm just gonna be real here as a content content creator like a lot of these youtubers with a million subs they're they're gonna be like oh man please guys donate to me i have a patreon please support me here buy my t-shirts please i have a million subscribers or more but this adpocalypse is causing me to have zero dollars or little or no money like i'm just gonna be real here like if they if, if someone has a million subs or more, they can easily be making twenty thousand dollars at least a twenty thousand a month, and that's enough to support yourself. I mean, you got people going to college trying to get a. It's because they're trying to keep living their lavish lifestyle. Bro. Yeah, oh, and then true. and then when shit on YouTube goes bad for a little while and they can't support that lifestyle, then they act like they're about to go homeless. Yeah, that's yeah that's exactly. But a lot, a lot of them, they got a lot of money though, like. I'm, it's it's just the truth. Money. Oh yeah, and it's not just from like AdSense from YouTube. They get it from sponsorships, and a lot of them Hell have yeah. their own merchandise. I mean, they have like so many different ways of income. It's stupid. Like, there's no reason for them to beg people for fucking money. Like, uh, like for me, but well, I'm not even gonna talk about this. But for a lot of other people out there who are making money off of YouTube. But yes, in back in the day, you would be making bands. Like the adpocalypse wasn't, you know, there back then. But now, PewDiePie it's just really bad. Making, PewDiePie made millions off of YouTube before adpocalypse. Like a, right? like a lot of YouTubers, they're exaggerating a little bit too much, saying, "Oh, I'm making like no money." But I mean, the stuff that they made back then is pretty much cut in half. So if somebody made forty thousand, it's twenty thousand now. So it's a pretty big difference. I can understand why they're saying, oh, I'm broke, man, and please help me out. But still, it's like, you're still making bands. Yeah, and if you notice, like, a lot of the older big YouTubers now, like, Boogie, like, he doesn't live, like, a lavish life. Like, he's got a normal house and shit. I mean, he's still making bank, but he's still living, like, a modest lifestyle. Yep. Yeah, that's true. Like, it's crazy. The, like, the and shit Boogie Rice Gum's doing. Boogie to the community. So I can understand people yeah. doing his paper. Rice gum, people like that, they don't give shit. 
they do all these contests and shit, and they never deliver. Yep. And like, like the constant flexing and shit, it's just like annoying. Like nobody wants to see that. True. True. Dylan used to think that was cool. What happened? Shaking my head. What are you talking about? <laughs> I mean, it's different when like rappers flex because that's just like part of the shit. Like it's just what they do. But when YouTubers do it, it's just weird. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well. Plus, like a lot of rappers, a lot of that shit in their videos, like they don't actually own. Yeah, sometimes. Not all. I mean, yeah, like some of them do. Like Gucci Mane, like shit. You see, yeah, he probably owns it, but like Gucci Mane owns everything he got for it. That's all I got to say. Gucci, yeah, got he's a go. Thing, Gua, he said, like he said, you can call me anything, but you can't call me broke. That mother got money. Oh yeah, for sure. But like the new upstarting rappers, like with all the chains and shit now, like most of those probably aren't even theirs. But yeah, it's like. A video I put up today about Angry Grandpa's son, like the dude is like using his dad's death for clickbait, and I'm just wow. like, what the fuck? Yeah, that's another thing. Really, with YouTube. everything is clickbait. Yeah, like from the like, there's two videos, like two recent ones that he's put up within like the past two weeks, and it's like a sign from Grandpa, a message from Grandpa, and you can tell in the videos the shit's acting, and it's just like I don't know, it's Hell just yeah. disgusting. I know, man. Everything's garbage now. Everything downhill. <laughs> what a bad year, 2017. For video games and for YouTubers. Yeah, pretty oh, much. Because well, YouTube, the only thing they want to push now is fucking like, hype blogs and diss tracks and a right. bunch of other retarded shit. Right. That's how it is everywhere. Yeah, it's it's... Like you, you, you got people vlogging about things that don't even matter. And it's I, I don't even know, man. Like, I don't. I never really watched a vlog by the big YouTubers like Logan Paul and Casey Neistat. I've never in my life watched any the vlog. The majority by, like, of those people's subscribers are children. None of us watch them. Yeah, the com. Like, yeah, it's it's a combination of stupid, uneducated children and fucking social justice warriors. Retard. Retard exactly. Who genuinely think that shit's funny. Yeah. Like, if you're, like, our age children. and you're watching that shit, like, you got some problems. I won't say dumb. I say people who are too ignorant to really realize that shit's, like, not real. I won't say they're dumb. Because I don't think they're dumb. I just think they're ignorant. And choose not to realize that. And it's pretty funny how, like, you got a lot of, of the YouTubers who used to do pranks. Like, a lot of fake pranks. They're doing vlogs now. And then you got, like, all these people my age or younger. Mostly... I mean, it's mostly just the stupid people on YouTube who watch whatever, but they're going to watch their videos every day. They're going to talk about it like, oh, my God, he did this. and Yeah, man. Oh, it's like, shut up, dude. Daddy. Like some fake ass <laughs> YouTubers, honestly. True. One of the big yeah, problems is fucking Facebook. Like whenever they share their shit to Facebook, they get so many so views floating. because. Rio. Yeah, because those people on Facebook are so fucking gullible. Facebook is kind of like YouTube now, like a. Uh, if you were to make a Facebook account, a, a Facebook page, as I should say, it shows you how many people have seen the post. Like, it tells you how many people, like, the post has reached. And yeah. for me, since I got a little hustle going, you know, whenever I upload something or I post something on Facebook, like, nobody sees it. And Facebook is starting to be like YouTube now. Whatever you post, it doesn't share it with other people, which is kind of bullshit. That sucks. Oh you yeah, gotta it's... manually do all that shit now. Yeah, you gotta like use money to, in order to like boost everything. It's stupid. I shut down my Facebook like a year ago because like I just got tired of seeing bullshit every fucking day. I'm like, this is <laughs> yeah, this is just stupid. Yeah, it's a lot of videos on there. Like I still see them to this day. Like people at school, they'll be showing me these little videos on Facebook, and of course, it's a typical 100% prank gone wrong in the hood. And it's like, oh man, I don't even want to see that. Kaylan, uh, what do you think about fake YouTubers, or, un okay. uh, YouTube, or to, to be more, to be more nicer, the YouTubers that are not genuine? They're whack. That's oh yeah, whack. Yeah, like fucking Jake Paul came out and said like ninety percent of the stuff in his vlogs are completely staged and fake. Yep, what a what a pretty bad world. <laughs> it sucks, man. Yeah, it's just like, and then the good content gets like pushed down to the bottom. 
right. and gets penalized. I'm just like, it's the internet. Like, shit's supposed to be, like, you're supposed to be able to say whatever the fuck you want. Speak the truth. They hated Jesus before he spoke the truth. You're right. It just but, sucks, though. It's not like how it was back then. Like, I understand this is the future now, but just things in the past were much, much, much more smoother. It was Simpler. a lot more a genuine. Like, I won't lie. Back then, I would watch some pranks by the big YouTubers like uh, Vitalized or Vitalis, whatever hell his name is, and you know um, the magic of Rahat doing those drive-through pranks. But those, those were, were those were funny. Those hell yeah, really those were funny as hell. Over and stage, those were actually funny. Yeah, and they didn't yeah. hurt anybody. Like Bonk Gang, crackhead ass. Bonk Gang just like I don't know. He just but the clout got to him. He just couldn't handle it. Like that motherfucker tattooed himself like the Joker. Oh, the <laughs> clout, bro. Like, fuck, dude. <sighs> yeah, that's crazy. The clout got to that man's head. It did. It devoured him. And now there's no turning back. I hope he'll never get a regular job. <laughs> no, never. It's like rap is, I don't know what's happened to it. Garbage. Complete garbage. Rap is like none, none of it's none of it's good. I mean, Everybody there, of course, rap is garbage. It's just YouTube. Like that shit is such a goofy statement to me. Like you, you got you just gotta find it. it. Yeah, you just gotta find the good stuff out there. You just gotta find your kind. It's just you don't like what's mainstream. That's all Hell yeah, that's 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 me personally. Like anything that's on the radio or anything that's like super big, I, I just I'm just not a big fan of it. I'm not even gonna mention like any rappers. Anything else? Uh, no, I think that's about it. It's been about you know thirty minutes now. All right. Well, that's that. Pretty much wraps up today's podcast. So a good big, game. Like dick, everybody. Yeah, oh. it was just a little. It was a little talk about everything. We just kind of rambled on whatever we talked about. But hey, that's it for today's podcast. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, any Bye. last words? Um, check out my YouTube channel X Killing X. I'll leave a link down in the description. Nice. If you want to check him out? And my boy Mr. Troll, he has a YouTube channel, but technically he doesn't. So I'm just gonna put it in there anyway. <laughs> so that's pretty much it. All right. See y'all All right. later. Bye. Nice. Bam. Okay. Cool.